Welcome to the Luke Griggs Show. I'm David Holt and Coach Griggs sporting a brand new shirt Man, today. I feel like a new man. I know it. Snapping tags. So I, I get on my wife all the time. I said, what are you snapping tags for? Where did, where did that come from? I said, oh, I had this. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's what she always say. I've had this for three years. I said, yeah. I see. I heard that tag snap. I know that's a brand new shirt. I always anyway. tell my mom she's spending my inheritance. And, <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I think she's got enough clothes with brand new tags on it that I could stock almost a Walmart. <laughs> that's why I tell my wife. I've been wearing, I've been wearing some of the same clothes since uh, about... 01 to 03 when I was in college, I was about the same size as I am now. I still got tennis shoes and blue jeans that I wore back in, but she says her stuff goes out of style, so <laughs> I don't know. Listen, I saw her sporting a brand new shirt at the ball game the other night. Yeah. Basketball's my favorite season. I think her and uh, Melissa Coker and uh, Jennifer, Williams. Jennifer Williams all, they get together. Musketeers. Yeah, yeah, they pull my wife into that little group, so now they, <laughs> they get a new sweatshirt about once a week. But well, it was all sparkly. I was looking for you, yeah, you I didn't, and Coach I, to have one. I thought it was nice, but yeah, me and him's got a little different style. You know, he's got to have that three-piece suit on, and I'm more of a polo type guy. But. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you did hear a recording that when uh, the girls get to the uh, finals, he's going to have a suit on. It's if we make it to the state it. finals, I'll buy a brand new it's suit. It's going to be worth I'll go ahead and it, tell ladies you. and gentlemen, to see you in a suit and not sweating to death. That, well, that coat may not last long. I don't know if I can wear it the whole game. <laughs> Maybe through warm-ups, I'll leave it on. But, well, but, I'm yes. telling you, this is a busy week. Uh, first of all, let me back up with Saturday, the Iron Bowl. Is that a big thing at your house? Pretty big deal. We're big Bama fans at my house. Um, we're nervous about playing Auburn without Tua, to be honest. But, uh, you know, it's going to Anytime those two get together, you never know what happens. Um, funny story, um, me and my oldest son, Ty, we was at the kick six game. So, yeah, so that was our only experience at the Auburn-Alabama game. Was well, you there? I was there. Mm -hmm. So being big Bama fans, first thing, we bought, we bought um, fake tickets, me and my son did. So we get to the gate with our $300 worth of fake tickets. They don't let us in. So we ended up having to buy our way in. Oh, <laughs> Just wow. give a guy $50 to let us in. So we go in and sit next to the Auburn band. And, um, you know, it's back and forth all game, of course. And um, we we kicked a field goal for the kick six. And that guy looked like he was running right toward me and Tyrone. So he was just, here he comes. And I was looking for a flag, no flag. I said, come on, Ty. We we got out of there as quick as we could. That's a, that was my last experience in Auburn right there. I may not ever go back. Well, uh, it, it, I thought we had it won. I did, too. Yeah, I, I did, too. But, and then we got Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Is coming up. Is a big up. deal at your house? Big deal. Um... Of course, you know, we're fortunate enough to have some of our grandparents still living, so we get to go to the grandparents' house on Thanksgiving Day and, you know, and, and celebrate and um, get together and enjoy each other's company. But, uh, you know, also we have the turkey trot Thanksgiving morning. Um, so we and got, we got the sign yes. up here. You can still sign up for the turkey trot, right? Yes, yeah, it's not too late. Um, you can show up on day of. Um, we'll be up there starting at 6 at the CC, signing everybody up. Um, it's going to have a fun time. We already got like 120 runners signed up, so it's going to be a big time race, and we're looking forward to it. And, and you know, this very is excited. the big fundraiser for the year, right? Yes, the only fundraiser we're going to do. So, you know, we're very excited that we're only having to do one fundraiser and and um, just looking forward to seeing everybody out. Um, it's going to be good weather Thursday. I was kind of worried about the rain, but the rain chances are off for Thursday morning, so it's going to be a good morning to come out and run and support the or Lady walk. Bears. Or walk. Yeah, we have plenty. We have. I think we had uh, a couple of older women say, can we walk? Yeah, it'd be, it'd be perfect to come out and walk. You know, I may have to get out there and walk. I'm not sure if I can run <laughs> that far. But, uh, but yes, uh, we'll, have some, we'll have some people run it in probably 15, 16 minutes, and some it may take you 45 minutes to walk, and that's perfectly fine. So you'll come rescue me if I get Oh, yeah, we're going to have a couple of golf carts there, you know, in case we get a sprained ankle a or something. We'll come. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Well, uh, <coughs> since we came to you last, we have uh, played Gunnersville down in Gunnersville. Now, that was an atmosphere, wasn't it? Great atmosphere. Um, good basketball school. Um, we had four games starting at 4 o'clock, and we ended up winning all four games, which is a really good deal for us. Clean sweep for the Bears. Um, JV girls played really well. Um, they really got after it. I think they held Gunnersville with 22 points, so it was a big win for the JV girls. Um, B team boys game was a great game. Um, my son Ty got to play. Um, they played really well together. They shot the ball really well, and um, and won a, against a very scrappy Gunsville B team. Then um, the varsity girls um, 
played next. You know, it was already 2 0, put a little more stress on us. But of course, um, playing against some Coach Heather Powell, you know, that was here before me. Um, a lot of the girls were really excited to play against Coach Powell, to, you know, to show her that how much how much they have grown and gotten better and stuff. So the girls were really excited. But when you're going in, Coach Powell does a really great job. We know the girls are going to try hard. You know, um, they're going to be fundamentally sound. And she's got three or four girls that are really good. So we knew going in, you know, when I looked at the schedule going into the year, we knew, we circled this one kind of that we going to have to really play hard and play good basketball to win. And you did a great job. Played probably our best game of the year. Um, We've only played five games. It's the, it was the only game that I felt like we come out and played well in the first quarter. A lot of times we're, we're kind of a slow start thing. We're a second and third quarter type team right now. But hopefully we turn the tide in this game. We come out and uh, jumped on them pretty good. Um, we led after the first quarter 17-7. So I was really excited about that. So, you know, most time it's a seven to nine. You know, our defense yeah. is always there in the first quarter, just like it is every quarter. But a lot of times we, we struggle to score until we yeah. relax a little and realize, you know, they're not boogeymen and they're not going <laughs> to – I always say that. You know, I tell the girls, they're, they're not Freddy Kruegers over there. They're not going to eat you. You know, just relax. So, so maybe we finally figured it out that, you know, if, if we score first, hey, it's, 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 more, okay. it's more fun to play ahead than it yeah. is behind. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, you're not going to get in trouble for winning at the end of the first quarter. <laughs> but uh, – but we was up 17-7, had a really good first quarter and guarded them. You know, the first play of the game, they get to tip ball, of course, because we're all midgets. I got Puckett up there jumping. She's 5'4 and can jump as high. You know, but we, they get the ball. We, they, they make one pass, one more pass. Girls wide open for a layup. So I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, here we go again. You know, first assignment, we, don't, we missed the first assignment, first play. But then we relaxed and settled down and, and went on by the 10-0 run right there to really settle down. So really, really proud of the girls to start off the game like that. I've noticed uh, <clears throat> I, I got to sit up in the upper thing. Okay. You know, there's a, a gate yeah. wall or some kind of mm -hmm. thing. Uh, not a lot of seats uh, down low. Uh, so I really couldn't watch you that much. You know, every once in a while I'd see your head yeah. bob out from the side. Yeah. <laughs> but I noticed that we we got a good rotation of girls coming in and playing and adding to and uh, being a part of the program. Yes, um, going into the season, to be honest, you know, we got 20, 25 girls, no, yes, that's right, 25, 24 girls that play JV and up. And, and to be completely honest, they're all about the same. You know, any of the 25 could be on varsity, you know, any of them could be on JV. So the plan was both JV and varsity play a lot of girls, you know, get in there and get after it. If you get tired, we get you a break, and we got five more just like you right behind you. So, you know, we're really pushing extreme effort on the basketball court. You know, to be honest, you really can't play as hard as you can and play the whole quarter because you'd be wore out. So we really want to we really want to emphasize playing really hard, come out and get your break, and go back in and play hard some more. But you know, and it's and it's working out. Some we've got some tweaking to do. You know, we're still filling each other out, not filling them out. You know, who likes starting, who likes coming off the bench, who plays well with each other. But you know, it's coming along pretty good. And I got to play all 11 girls in the game. Well, I thought um, that was Friday. great. I like to see the girls coming in and out, adding uh, to the program, yes. being part of that win. Uh, I know that's what you like to see as well. Yes, you know, very excited. I, I, you know, you know, teams are consisted of different kind of teammates. You know, some girls may not play as you know as much as other girls. You know, somebody may not get as much as minutes or as shot attempts as Toby Trotter. You know, and that's okay. You know, people's got to realize it. it's like that in real life too. You know. I may not, you know, I may not get as much money as the big boss man in the corporation or whatever, but everybody has their part to do, and uh, the girls are really bought into that, and and they're really excited about seeing each other do well and succeed, and that, and that makes me real happy. I was going through film, and I like to watch the bench every time we score and see who's up and cheering and who's over there pouting because they got took out of the game for some reason. You know, so, you know, that's, really, that's a really big part of our scheme, and we want our girls to be happy for each other. Even though, you know, you might not be playing so well, but let's say um, Puckett, Elaine Puckett played a really good game for us the other night, and, and the team was so happy to see her play well, and is really happy for her. And it, it makes me excited as a coach. Yeah. So um, we have a crazy week this week. Crazy about, week. About crazy football. week. Um, before we talk about the Monday and Tuesday that this will air after, uh, but Friday we got Etowah coming to town. Mm hmm uh, believe the game, the JV boys play at two and girls will play at three? 
Yes, the varsity girls. No, no, no. B team boys started two. Is that what you said? B team boys started two, followed by varsity girls and then the varsity boys. Um, should be three good games. You know, I know it's Black Friday, but everybody does their shopping online anyway. Come on, come to the CC. I give you the Wi-Fi password if you need Wi-Fi or whatever. <laughs> come, come in there and shop and watch some good basketball at the same time. Um, the boys game will be a really good boy. You know, we talked last week about, you know, Edwards having five D1 football players play. And so the boys game should be a really up and down game and yeah. probably see a bunch of dunks. But it's going to be a really good game for sure. Um, the girl game, Edwards girls are really scrappy. They'll press you and they're athletic. So it's going to be a good test for our girls also. Well, uh, everybody's having a Thanksgiving tournament somewhere. Yes. There's one going out at the Coliseum. But actually, our girls are in one down at Geraldine. Yes, our girls play actually in a little bit. What time is it now? Our girls play in two hours at 10 o'clock at Geraldine versus Asbury. See why he's so antsy right now? He's yeah, I'm all like, pumped. Where, where's I'm, my towel? I, I know it. My... I need my towel. Um, <laughs> you know, so a lot of games in a short amount of time. I don't like it because I don't have time to prepare. I like to be prepared for teams. Hey, they do this, if they do, you know, stuff like that. And, and this week we're kind of going in blind. So it's going to be all about the girls and how they play and how much effort they put into the into the game itself. And the early morning start scares me a little. You know, with girls, you know, they might have stayed up late last night on Snapchat or Instagram, or maybe their, their hair don't look right this morning, and it, they don't have time to relax. You know, so it, it, these early morning games really scare me to death. It really do. And who booked this one? Who? I did. It was me. It was, it was me. Um, I'd rather play later on in the afternoon, but, you know, That's the I play slot team. you got, right? That's the slot they give me. We got to deal with it. Maybe the other team's the same way, but you know, boys and girls. You know, you don't. They're just kids, so you know, one little thing may throw them off, throw them off their routine, and it, you know, it, it it affects their day. So we hope everything goes good this morning with the girls. And, and well, I know you're a little stressed. You got your kids out. playing, and you can't be there to watch them because yep. you're coaching, doing your job. Yep. Uh, so you just gotta. You, this is where you, you and your wife divide and conquer. Yes, um, my wife and grandparents and friends of the family. Uh, so this morning uh, we get up. I got this show to do. Then my girls play at ten. My junior high girls are playing at nine o'clock. And I got Coach Sanders going to coach. The, he helps me with the junior high girls. Coach Sanders going to coach the junior high girls at the Coliseum against Center, which is a very good team. They play at nine. My varsity girls play at ten at Geraldine. My son plays at 11 at the Coliseum. I'm going to have to miss that game because I, I had to scout Jody. And, no, I'm scouting. I had to look at my schedule. I had to scout five and Sylvania girls play after us. So I'm going to stay and scout that game for Sylvania. Um, Ty plays at 11. He practices with the varsity at 1230. I'm going to come back and get Ty after practice at 1230. <laughs> then um, my daughter practices tonight at 530. And my son's got a – my little son, Max, has a practice game at 7. So it's a full day for us, for sure. But you know, it keeps us busy. Is that uh, Wheaties in the morning, or is that? No, that's pretty much Hardy's in the morning, Burger King at lunch, and McDonald's at night, pretty much. So I, don't, I might have to take out a loan on my house to we buy all this fast food. We were just talking about uh, this time of year and uh, going through drive-throughs and eating unhealthy, yes. and uh, so that's why you run in the morning. I have to run, or I'll be six hundred pounds because all I eat is, you know, <laughs> double cheeseburgers from McDonald's. It seems like. But, um, you know, I, I would rather go to Subway, but it costs us 50 bucks to take my family to Subway, so we have to go eat Cheaper. fries and cheeseburgers and just get fat, I guess, uh, right yeah. now. Well, you're running to get running from one thing to the other. <laughs> exactly. The kids are, are active and playing, and, and, and life is good. Life, life is good right now. Lots to be thankful for. Lots to be thankful for. Lots to be thankful for. Just, you know, just thankful to have a good job and, and to be doing something that I love to do. You know, I could be I could be back at that old steel plant right now, dirty and soaking wet and running around. And but here I am, you know, getting the coach girls basketball, and I and I really enjoy it and get paid for it. So <laughs> you know, that, that's the best kind of job to love what you're doing and get paid to that's do. That's exactly what you love. right. Exactly right. Well, I, want to, I want to clear the air about one thing from the game Friday uh, Friday night against Gunnersville. Girls play really well, whatever. Um, I get a I get a warning, so what? I'm I'm going the whole year trying not to get a technical. So I get a warning at the game. First I kind of, half? Second half. Wouldn't it, but second half, yes, because we was on our offense. We drove baseline. T I, 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 uh, we drove baseline about three times in a row, 
and we get we get side bumped out of bounds, you know, which is fine. If if it's a to me, if it's a play on situation like we gain we regain control or it don't hurt us, you know, I, I'm, I can live with that. But we got bumped pretty hard about three times in a row. Same officials on the baseline, he don't call anything, and it's three turnovers in a row. So I get kind of aggravated, and I say something, and of course he says, you know, that's enough out of you, coach. I say, okay, that's my warning. I, I'm going to hush. Next trip down court, my dad's sitting right behind me. He kind of sounds like me, so my dad says something to him about it. So the referee stops the game. You know, so that's enough out of you, coach. I thought, oh, my God, here comes the technical. I didn't even say nothing. I said, it wasn't even me. It's my dad. <laughs> but he stops the game and officially warns the table that if I say something else, they're going to give me a technical. But I want to clear it to all the fans. That was my dad that, that got me that warning. That wasn't me. So I'm going I'm to do my best trying to get a technical this year. But, you know, I'm not promising anything. You know, famous last words, right? Famous last words. I got I to gotta cut down on I tell you, now we do go to Spring Garden. That's where I got my last one. That's hard to play over there. I go ahead and tell you. So if I get one, it's gonna be at Spring Garden. Maybe not at home. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed and get you plenty of towels. To, yep. to bite or or twist yep. or whatever you need to do. But the, but the game at Gunners, I want to go back to it. I'm just, I'm so proud of the way the girls play. They play with tremendous effort. Um, we've only been out rebounded one game. And that was against Huntsville just because of their length. <coughs> I don't think they got so many. But we're, we're always the smallest team, and our girls play so hard, and they go after it. They rebound and play defense, and they're really trying, and I just appreciate their effort. And, you know, and, um, and once we get a little – once we relax a little bit on offense, we're going to be hard to handle because we, we really get after it to be so tiny. Well, really and, and truthfully, uh, I know I could see that the girls were excited to play against Heather. Yes, they were really excited. And uh, to come away with a win would make them even more excited. So. Yeah. We have great respect for Coach Powell. She's a, yes. such a great lady and a great coach and, they, you know, and even a better person. So, you know, good I, luck to her in the future also. I love to pick on Heather. I always ask her <laughs> when she's going to have on a chiffon dress. I don't think I've ever seen no, her she's, anything Yeah, she's like kind of like that. me. She's more laid back than the dress up type. <laughs> Well, we have a guest in the studio with us. Yes, yes we do. Brantley, do you care to come on up? You got your mic turned on? Turn it on. All right, come right here. I'm going to let you introduce our guest today. All right, this is my sixth grade daughter. Is it on? You know, mm -hmm. This is my daughter, Brinley. Uh, Brinley, I call Brinley. Brantley. I'm sorry, It's Brinley. all right. <laughs> it's all right. Um, she's 12, and this is her first year at Plainview High School. Um, so we got the whole family up here with us, and we're very excited to be all together for sure. So how are you liking it? I like it. It's a lot of different it's a lot different and a lot of fun too well as long as it's fun that's what's important <laughs> right so what is the best thing about growing up in a basketball family do you play too right yes i do it the best thing about it is that you're always doing something like you're never bored with it because <laughs> yeah. you're always somewhere doing something most time basketball mm -hmm. and watching some coaches play Funny, I like that. Yeah. So who's harder on you when you mess up in a game, dad or mom? Oh, him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you get to hear it all the way home in the car? Mm -hmm. All the time. Uh, I, let's get this straight, okay? <laughs> He's got to defend himself. So, right? so I always envision, I always envision myself as being a boys coach. You know, growing up. So. I got two boys and one girl, and I said, well, I'm on, unless I want to end up in a nursing home, I need one to be nice, you know, I need one to love me a little, so it's going to be nice <laughs> to her, not coach her. So I was going to hammer down on the boys. I thought, well, she'll take care of me when I'm older. Well, now I'm a, now I'm a girls coach, so now I'm having to, I'm, on, I'm coaching her a little, and we're behind a little between me and her, so now, I don't know, I guess I'll end up in a nursing home. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see about that. Just pick a good one. Just pick <laughs> yeah. a good one, because you know he's going. Oh, he's yeah. Going. Sooner than later, I promise. So um, somebody told me the other day, we were uh, at a game, and they said, you know, there's a lot to be said for genetics. Your boys, you cannot deny them. That's true. But uh, she's got a little bit more of her mom in her, but there's a little bit of redness. And yeah, well, little, we favor a little, you know, but not as much as the boys, thank goodness. So she, she's more. She got the good she, of both. Yeah, she's more pretty like her mama than me, <laughs> than the boys. So she got lucky there. So do you get up and run with him in the mornings? No. No. I can't do that. <laughs> no. Does anybody run with you, Coach? No, I'm by myself. Me and ESPN. We run together, <laughs> me and Sports Center. That's about it. Well, you told us what, what's, the, what's the best thing and what's the worst thing about being a coach's kid. The best thing is that he helps you a lot. Mm -hmm. The worst thing is that he's the hardest on you. Oh. 
because all the other kids, he can't really do anything to. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, that's <laughs> So do you have to shoot so many free throws and make them to go in and have breakfast, or what is what's the deal? It's not that bad. <laughs> not that it's not that bad. bad. But, you know, she is so, correct. You know, I tell, you know, I am harder on my kids than I, than I am the other kids probably. And, you know, and I hear that from my parents and from my wife's parents, my in-laws, well, so-and-so turned it over too. And you didn't say nothing to them. But, you know, I can handle my kids a little different, you know. So, um, and um, I have been accused of biting my oldest son's ear. And that, I want to clear that. I have never bit my son's ear. On, I have a, but you was there. Okay, let's clear the air on that. But, you know, I am harder on my kids, but... You know, I, I tell my own girls this, my varsity girls, you know, I love my kids more than more than anything in this world. And, and, and you see me how hard I am on my kids, you know. I'm only hard on them because I care about them. You know, when you turn it over three times in a row and I don't say anything, that's when you need to start worrying. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm just going to try to coach them like they're my own. That's the best way. And that's really the only way I know how. You know, I coach them up during the game and I love on them after a the game. Yeah. I think that's the best way. And that's what I, that's the way I wanted to be treated when I played. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of what I tried to do. So how do you like wearing all this navy blue? Do you like it? Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Well, we're so glad to have you at uh, Plainview and the whole family's there. Mm -hmm. And uh, how long is the commute in the mornings? Do you ride with dad or do you ride with mom? Whoever leaves first. She's really? A, she's an early bird. She wants I to I like leave. to be on time. Is that you? Mm -hmm. She hates to be late, and so that's a good characteristic so in her. So who leaves first, Coach? It's usually me. It's usually <laughs> me. Her mom's kind of running around, which, which you know, her mom does a lot more to me in the mornings, I'm going to be honest. I, you know, I usually get up and go run and do whatever, and I get home, and I take care of myself, and I jump in the car, and my wife, bless her heart, she's gonna do, yeah, she has to deal with these three kids and lunches mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So shout, shouts out to her for sure. Shout out. Shout out. What did I say? Shouts out? I'm a basketball coach. I get shots up. So I, I like the way you keep him in line. Mm -hmm. So I, let me ask a question. How do you know when he's really, really mad? He gets that look on his face. There's a look. And What's you know you need to stop. <laughs> 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 his eyes get all big, and his, he just sits there and looks at you. Mm. <laughs> and that's when you, you know that's he's when mad you know. at you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do, you, what's it, how do you know when he's the happiest? What do you, what do you say about him? You just smiling? Yeah, and he's not bug eyed. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> when the eyes are small, he's smiling. He's happy. Yeah. Okay. Do you like him better when he wins a varsity game or loses one? Oh, when he wins. <laughs> yeah, we 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 go eat four different places, and when we are so happy, we get McDonald's, and we'll get a, get a flurry at Dairy Queen on the way home. We get all kind of stuff. But sometimes when we lose, you know, it's a bologna sandwich when we get home. I'm pouting. <laughs> do you so. have chores you have to do? Yes. Okay, is he a stickler making sure those chores are done? Mm -mm. No, that's, that's more mama's. Mama's yeah. does the chores, make sure. Well, we are so glad to have you with us today. Coach, it's so nice to, for you to bring your little one with us. Yeah, she, she had to tag along anyway. She had to get up early. She's my, she's my filming girl, so she's my... You know, so uh, I can't uh, yell during the game. She tries her best not to yell, but the girls like it when she gets on to them. She's kind of a, you know, a commentator also on her film, so she does a good job. So do you She's, ever hear it and you're thinking, oh, I wish I had that. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she so tells it ever, like it is. Do you ever mess up uh, filming and he fuss at you? Or maybe not. No, nah, she does. I, I know better to say anything because I know she'll quit me. You know, so I had, to, <laughs> I, had to, I had to just, I pretty much take what I get on that. I do you get to analyze the film too? Do you get to watch it before the girls or you watch it with them? I don't know. Most times like she's just a video. She, don't, don't, she don't get to watch it. I video and I'm done. Yeah, but she does a pretty good job. Every once in a while, she'll get tore up on something. She'll be yelling to Ralph, and we still want in the court for a little bit. Oh, and then yeah. we'll uh -huh. <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> but That's just natural, right? Yeah. yeah, but when it's free, I'm not going to say anything, so we get what we get. You just bring your own uh, videographer. That's and, right. Uh, yeah. Color commentator and encourager, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. She'll, when they mess up, she'll let them know. And <laughs> they hear it on film, and when they do good, she pumps them up, too. So that's a good deal. So what do you want to do someday? What do you want to be? I want to be a veterinarian. Really? Mm -hmm. You have animals at home? Yes. Oh, big animal lover. That's great. So not a basketball coach? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have enough patience. Yeah. 
Well, I understand that. Thank you so much for visiting with us today. Coach, good luck. Uh, well, thank you. Sporting a new shirt here. Yeah, I hope it's a good, I hope it's a lucky shirt. We'll see. If it isn't, I guarantee you he'll be wearing something different the next yeah, day. Yeah, if we get beat today at 10 o'clock, you'll never see his shirt again, probably. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, we wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Hope to see you at the Turkey Trot on Thursday and come yes. out to Etowah on uh, Coliseum to see us play Etowah starting at 2 o'clock. And may your team win in the Iron Bowl as long as it's the crimson and white. As long as it's tide. road tide. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. Hey, folks, this is Andy White down here at Bobby Ledbetter's Twin City, and I want to invite everybody to come down here and see us. We're located at 1015 Golf Avenue South here in downtown Fort Payne, and I want everybody to come down and check out our inventory. Bobby always keeps the inventory refreshed. We've got new stuff coming in every single day, a lot of stuff going out every day. Listen, we appreciate everybody in the area coming down here, letting us earn your business. Uh, I'm telling you what, this year has been great for us, and every year we get nominated and then we get voted in as the best in the cab. So I want to tell everybody we appreciate y'all doing that for us. Let us know we're doing everything right. So y'all come down here and see us, 1015 Galt Avenue South. You can shop us on the web at Twin City Used Cars, or you can just give us a call at 256-844-2210. Building your dream home is one of the great joys in life. At First Southern State Bank, we know construction and mortgage financing, putting today's low rates to work for you. As you and your family move closer to the completion of your new home, we know that your home is where memories are made and families grow stronger year after year. At First Southern State Bank in Rainsville, Scott Kirk stands ready to tailor the right construction loans to meet your needs along with our staff of experienced loan professionals. Drop by to share your dreams with us today in Rainsville. First Southern State Bank in Rainsville, all the bank you'll ever need.